Hello and welcome to 2-Minute Design, I'm Dage and today we're gonna create this frosted glass effect from scratch in Photoshop. I've opened this image in Photoshop, you can download it from the link in the description. And in the layers panel, let's activate the background layer and press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate it. Right click on the top layer and convert it to a smart object. That way we're working non-destructively. Now go to Filter, Filter Gallery. Under Distort, select Glass. And on the right, let's set the texture to Frosted and play with these sliders to adjust the distortion, smoothness, and scaling. For this image, I'll set them to 20, 3, and 145, and then click OK. Awesome. Now, if you zoom in, you'll see that some areas are too harsh. So let's make the effect a little bit smoother. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. We'll set it to 0.5 pixels, just a teeny tiny bit of blur, and then click OK. Zoom out and let's activate the rectangle tool. Click and drag on the canvas to create a rectangle. And in the options bar, set the stroke color to none and choose any fill color. Doesn't really matter and I don't really care. In the layers panel, let's resize it. Let's drag this shape layer and put it below the smart object. Hold down Alt or Option, hover the cursor between these two layers. And when you see this cursor icon, click once to create a clipping mask. I still haven't pressed enter to confirm, so I'll press it now. So now the frosted glass effect is only affecting the rectangle, which you can move, resize, rotate, whatever. You can even delete it if you want, I don't care. Uh, dig. With the rectangle layer still activated, click this button to create a layer style, and then choose inner glow. You can play with these settings to create your own inner glow effect, or just copy my settings. Also, click on drop shadow, and copy these settings as well. Click OK. And if you add a text layer on top, like this one here, you can set the text color to white. And then on the layers panel, you can set the blending mode to overlay. This will blend the text nicely with the background. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't, I don't really care.